You can summon Alfred. Actually, shit, I might, I'm not sure if I've talked to Alfred. Maybe I won't be able to summon Alfred. If you've talked to Alfred, which I don't know if I've done or not, you can summon him for the Blood Starved Beast if you're having troubles, and it makes the fight absolutely... Okay, so no, I have not talked to Alfred. Normally, he would be right here. And then you can summon him for that, for the fight, and it makes it a hell of a lot easier because Alfred basically... Like, the way the AI in this game works, basically the AI will just target the last thing to hit it. So, all that you have to do, if you, like, if you need to back off the heal or whatever, you just let Alfred hit him, and then you start attacking. But it also works very well to flank the enemy, and, like, you know, let Alfred take some hits while you charge up an attack and then you get a free visceral attack. That didn't do very much. Oh. Relax, relax, relax. The problem, the big problem, this weapon does amazing damage, obviously. I think we can see that. I think we can see that this weapon does absolutely phenomenal goddamn damage from everything I've done with it. Damn it, damn it, son of a bitch. The pro- it, it's range is a problem though. So like, enemies like this, I kind of- I have some fairly decent troubles with them. Ow. When it comes to hitting them effectively. So like, so as you can see, my damage output is absolutely amazing. Can't see shit. Gotta love the camera this game. Please relax. I can't even hit him now because he's in the fucking wall. Oh god! Whoa. I wanna play it safe now. Shoot this dude. Shit, shit, shit. The main thing about this boss that you uh, that you wanna do, like the main feature, every single one of the initial bosses, uh, they kind of teach you a different facet of the game. So like the cl well the cleric beast doesn't really teach you anything. <laughs> I take that back. The cleric beast doesn't do shit for you. The cleric beast is just kinda like an oh shit moment. But, uh, Father Gascon, the entire point of that boss fight is to, um, teach you how to parry. If you don't parry that boss, he becomes so much harder. But, if you learn how to parry and you work on parrying his attacks, once you actually getting da get down the timing for his parrying, he is quite trivial to deal with. Uh, the Blood Starved Beast. It kind of, it's a carry-on of that also. You know, you saw me parrying him plenty of times. But it also teaches you not to dodge away from stuff. Dodge into it. Because so many, I, you didn't really see the full showing of, of the Blood Star Beast's attacks because I do too much damage. And so it's a very short boss fight. Um, but a lot, almost every single one of his attacks has a lot of forward momentum to it. So if you try to just dodge away or sidestep, it's very likely that you'll get clipped at the end of those dodges because he'll keep going forward, he swings sideways, whatever. But if you dodge into it and behind him, you get free hits. So that's kind of the lesson there. And Amelia is... Well, the Cleric Beast also does this, but it's a lot more pronounced with Amelia. Amelia is the first time you learn to try and damage body parts. I have no idea what the lesson is for the Witches of Hemlock. They, just, they, they suck. So here's Dark Beast Parl. He's not very hard. You will, however, cry. Oh shit. Good start. He's not very hard until you get your ass beat. Ow. Like so. I the camera is actually more of a. You know what? I'm just going. Not the, most. the camera's actually more of an enemy in this game than anything else. I mean, in this boss fight than anything else.
Oops, all right. I probably deserve to be hit by that. But I didn't. I got lucky. So this is the main. This is the main thing you want to do. You want to go in on limbs and you want to stagger this guy. And then don't let up. But unfortunately, you got away. Or not. Actually, I might be able to do this. you want to make the you the that's the most important vital part of that boss fight is just maintain the pressure never let up hopefully again hopefully i can continue the streak hopefully i can fight her and one I, this shouldn't be this should not take more than one shot would you dodge please I guess I gotta be more careful. No more mashing. I was trying to damage her arms. There we go. That's what I wanted to do all this time. against this boss. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm not doing well. Oh, shit, no. Stop. 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 She didn't stop. I got hit. Oh, god damn. My weapons are risen. That's not good. Come on, woman! Damn. I did it again. I'm not dodging that attack. Though. Please stop. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away, run away, run away. Oh fuck, I'm screwed. Who cares if my weapon's broken? Did I completely miss that alert? I did so much worse there than I ever... I mean, I still beat it on the first try, but, like, that's not... That's not impressive. That fight was not impressive. I should never have been hit. I shouldn't have been hit, and I should have been more conscientious of my weapon status. That's pathetic that I let it break. <laughs> 